peace greetings how are y'all doing welcome back my name is simone with royal lionheart home scholar academy and i'm here you're here so let's dive in all right so today i want to talk about support systems support systems while homeschooling you know there's a lot of families that do not have relatives that support their efforts to homeschool a lot of people are single family are in single family homes and they don't have a spouse or someone else to help balance out their home while they homeschool their children so support systems are so important and cooperatives are so important that a co-op is just parents families coming together to help educate the children they can be of like mind they can have differences but at the end of the day the main goal is to educate the children to give them the best start possible all right and we can only do that with working as a village so today i want to introduce you if you do not know of liberated minds homeschool collective all right um, they are a branch from Roots to Fruits. Um, and these two here are magazines from the expos that we have attended. Um, first, our first year was in 2015, um, shortly after we moved to Georgia. And uh, this magazine here is from 2018. And we also attended last year, which did not include a magazine, but we have um, other handouts and whatnot. But we love these magazines. These are keepsake, the keepsake. And um, if you want to order one and get a peek of what's inside, lots of information, lots of knowledge, lots of understanding, go to liberatedmindsexpo.com. All right, that's where you wanna go. So you can definitely be a part of the expo that is two weeks from now, June uh, 26th through the 28th. And it's virtual, like at first throughout this whole COVID situation, we were like, we gonna have an expo this year. You know, we look forward to it every single year. It's a family reunion for us. It's a time to go and recharge, to be with our people, to learn, to soak up all the knowledge that we possibly can to propel us forward to the future. And they have a section where our children can go. It's called Watato Village. Um, Watato means children. And they go and learn while we're in our workshops learning. So we love it. And there's vendors, black businesses all across the board. It's only us. Only us. Have you ever been to an event with only us? Hmm. I'll wait on that. Anyways. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful and so refreshing. So uh, anyways, COVID came through and here we are not able to be in person. However, this expo will still be powerful virtual. We are still going to be in the room together, even though we're on the web, we are able to be in the same space with each other, learning from one another. And it's so beautiful. And I definitely want each and every one of you who are seeking answers, seeking tools, you have questions, you have knowledge that you want to bring to the platform, check out liberatedmindsexpo.com. All right. You will not be disappointed. If you're like me, keep it real. You're one of the people that's called weird in your family. You eat a certain way, listen to certain music. You want to homeschool. <laughs> you want to have a natural birth. You breastfeed. All the things that your family may say. Mm, you different. You different. It's okay. It is okay. Because guess what? Your tribe is out there. Your tribe is out there who is different like you and they will embrace you, all right? So the village is there. It takes a village to raise our children and I want you all to check out liberatedmindsexpo.com. You will not be disappointed, all right? So go to that website. I will um, also post it 
in the details uh, description box below, as well as Facebook groups that have assisted me in my journey of homeschooling. You know, in the beginning, I, I didn't know a whole lot, but I was so appreciative of Facebook groups where there were other families and other mothers and other fathers who had questions, who had answers, and we came together collectively. And it's still ongoing, especially now during pandemic and everything else that's going on in this world, a lot of people are reconsidering sending their children back to the public food system. And I agree with them. Keep them at home. <laughs> but um, in the same token, realize that homeschool does not mean that your child is at home, locked up in the house all day long. That's not what it is. All right. So that's another one of those misconceptions. The world is your classroom. The world is your classroom and your child is your curriculum. Let that soak in. Let that, let, think about it. All right. So the world is your classroom. Your child is your curriculum. Your child will show you what they're interested in. Your child will show you the way that they want to learn and that they need to learn in order to gain and make concepts stick to their life, stick to their well-being, all right? So um, I want you to just take the time to focus on your children. Um, right now, you know, we see a lot of posts, you know, people mad about their children being at home. And it's sad. It's really sad, you know. So um, please be gentle with these babies. Please love them. Please encourage them. Just, especially in this world that we live in, you have to be your child's first support system. As much as us parents need support, our children need our support too. And if you know that you did not receive that in your upbringing, please do better for your children. That's all that I ask. If nobody asks you, I'm asking, please do better for your children. All right, so we have to shift the paradigm. We have to prepare a space for our children to flourish. All right, so let's be that for them. Check out all the pages that I'm going to list in the description box. Check out the website and um, let's be each other's support. All right, peace, love, and light.